Hello and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where we are going to be running through the Bitcoin chart today going through in my opinion the most important resistance level right now on the Bitcoin chart it's really such a massively crucial level uh, and then I want to also be covering the support I feel we, we need to focus on the resistance because I personally am expecting a bit of a push upwards from here on the Bitcoin chart looking at the volume looking at the amount of selling that's coming in and price not really pushing down personally I'm expecting a bit of a rise in price here uh, to test some resistance. So I will be covering that in today's video. I want to be covering, um, you know, the, the moves and how we kind of get into this sort of zone and flow of the market. And uh, yeah, just, you know, really simply going over the technical analysis. So I hope that you really enjoy this video. I do recommend that you turn off the distractions around you. Give me your full focus for the next, what, maybe 20 minutes or so. As we go through the charts, we go through the technicals and we work out the next highest probability trade. So if that sounds like a lot of fun, stay tuned and let's begin. So Bitcoin, 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 <laughs> how we love you. Uh, so we can see we obviously put in our top on the 13th of March 2021. We make our way down from there. Obviously that high coming in at $62,000 exactly. We make our way down, we make our way down, we make our way down. Obviously, yeah, we can say now we did fill that CME gap. The CME gap got filled and we bottomed out last night at uh, 1 a.m. 16th of March and that low is coming in currently at around $53,200. Okay, So we have our high at $62,000. We have our low at $53,200. So we have, a, uh, we have a pivot high in a pivot low from these two pivots we can start to work out then okay based off of this information what are we what are we going to be looking for next well i'm really simply looking at this i'm looking at the what can i say a lot of heavy selling you see this 600 million 400 million 100 million 41 million 113 million 400 million selling you know 400 million market sell orders so i'm, I'm looking at this information and this is always how i come to my plans I am a reactionary trader. What do I mean by this? It means that I know the levels that I want to trade. You know, I know with 100% certainty, for example, the next level that I want to trade. Why? Because I've, I've, I've already done my technical analysis and I've already, I already know the plan that I'm trading towards right now. Um, and then what does it mean? It means when it hits the level that I want to trade, I will look at the reaction. You know, I've given you quite a few examples over the past week of you know, you've seen me looking at the order book live in the time of getting my entry and then managing to close that at the literal dollar high. And this is by looking at the reactions, looking at the volume, looking at the order book. You're able to decipher, OK, is this going to break resistance or is this is this going to reject and fall back down? So I mean, I'm a reactionary trader. I am expecting to push up from here um, based off of, based off of really, really, really simply off of the, the volume that we're seeing up, up, down at those lows. And uh yeah, pr pretty much, pretty much just that at this moment in time. Um, so yeah, I am expecting to push up from here. I mean, where's the level that I'm like, looking towards? Which I would really, really like. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I don't think it's massive surprise. The weekly, <laughs> the weekly. Uh, all I would say, you can see this is prior being resistance, resistance, resistance was acting as support here, and then you obviously lost it. So this weekly, I, I do want to say that this is a region. So we're not going to say the exact, exact, exact dollar on this. I do think you want to look at this as as the region of the weekly. OK, uh, just so you're aware, but this this region of the weekly coming in, obviously, at around fifty eight thousand um, dollars. One has to say that right now this is resistance. OK, and as we say many times, if you know this was prior resistance, you see it's resistance, resistance, resistance. If you break resistance and it then starts to act as support, that's when you can, um, you know, accept you're going to be looking for a move to the upside. So I think we can fairly safely say, ladies and gentlemen, that we have a weekly resistance here. It has had respect in the past. And I do feel it's likely to have respect again into the future. Um, so, yeah, that, that really is my pretty key level of resistance right now. Obviously, if we start to reclaim 50, you know, that, currently 57,450, if we start to reclaim that as support, well, then naturally that is where, you know, let's say, I'm again, no financial advice. I'm not telling you what to do with your money. This is just entertainment educational video. But let's say that you were to, or I was to short the weekly and price gets back above the weekly and it starts holding it as support. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is where you do have to let go of the ego. This is where you have to just accept. In trading, it is perfectly fine to take a loss. If, if you're aiming for a 100% win rate, unfortunately, you're just not going to accomplish that in this game. Okay, if you're trading, you know, you know, 10 trades a day, maybe you're just trading one trade a day, whatever that may be, 
there's no such thing as a 100% win rate. You have to be comfortable taking a loss. So I could be very much comfortable in shorting the weekly. But then if I start to see, okay, we've actually reclaimed this as support. It's now holding as support. We're seeing acceptance above the weekly. I have to be able to say to myself, okay, close this short for a loss and now look for a long position. Why? Because that for me would show a sign of strength. That would show to me, actually, we have put in a major low here. I mean, already I'm, I'm thinking that we push up to this level. But then if we push up to this level and we manage to then hold it as support, well, then suddenly I'm going to be thinking, oh, hey, you know, actually I can I can switch into a long now because this is showing me a sign of strength and I'm not going to be stuck in the position of saying oh I entered a short on the weekly I'm going to hold this this short forever now uh, you know of course I'm not going to do that why because well I, I I'm in this game I'm in the I'm in the game of trading to win money not to not to lose money so yeah my next level of resistance has to be the weekly there but I'm very 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 certain that if we manage to hold this as support I'll be looking for the next the next move up probably to around fifty nine thousand dollars, which is your next resistance level. You claim now you're obviously looking towards sixty gain all time highs. So you know you've got these sort of levels that you look towards uh, in terms of support, in terms of resistance, and I think you just got to be really aware of them um, because hey they're, they're massively what can i say they're absolutely so crucial like such crucial important levels um really 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 they are and you can see prior it was absolutely perfect resistance we broke it we got a nice move to the upside we all know what happened at all that all-time high we obviously make our way down and we're now we're seeing a lot of selling coming in personally i do i do feel we're likely to get a bit of a squeeze um you know, do you have to blindly short this let weekly? No, because I suppose if we do get a proper short squeeze, then it is likely that you could just like go straight through it. But, you know, this is the thing. I've said this many times. There is thousands and thousands and thousands of possibilities. Uh, we don't have, you know, there's just pointless in going through the thousands of possibilities that they are. Uh, the only thing that I'm thinking to myself is, okay, what's the most highest probability? You know, of the thousands of possibilities, I want to know which one is the most likely. That's the one that I'm going to focus on. That's the one where I'm going to put my money and everything else to me is totally irrelevant. So yeah, for me right now, that weekly really big level, if we start to either short squeeze straight through it, uh, always start to hold it as support, then hey, that, 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 that would look like a fairly nice uh, potential bottoming pattern that we're putting in here. And I and I suppose what, what's going to happen, uh, you know, you can already kind of predict it. What, what probably a lot of people are going to be saying if we start to move up, oh, they're going to be looking at this. I would have thought, oh, look at this. We might get a head and shoulders pattern. Um, hey, <laughs> you can kind of predict these things before they even happen but um yeah that that brings us on to then the the support level okay so i actually have a really interesting level of support for you all here uh what we can do is we start to use our, our trend lines channels okay so if we put our trend line from the low of the move back on the 28th of feb and we start to extend this on you will see that right now we had this perfect third touch of the trend line so this is a really valid trend line support we can see bounce number one almost coming in here for bounce number two it's definite bounce number three potentially two and well here we go with our bounce last night so this obviously is offering you a very good long in my opinion uh you're coming down to your trend line you are seeing massive you know what can i say massive selling <laughs> literally so much selling coming in price really not even moving down at all and uh, then you come back above not a perfect swing failure pattern but then you obviously have your deviations deviations offer really good trades and you have your deviation and you know, you, you're, you're moving up over over nearly two thousand dollars. So, um, yeah, th th this this for me is I'm not going to say like this is a massive support level, but it's clearly an intraday support level. And again, time frames very important to be aware of when you're trading uh, an intraday support is obviously not going to be as big as a, 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 a you know, a, a weekly, for example. You know, this is more of an intraday support. I mean, we've had it, the bounce off it once. You can expect, expect possibly another bounce. But if you keep testing this, then, you know, the more times you test the level, the weaker it gets. Obviously, we tested the weekly here once, two, three, four, then we break through. So the more times you test the level, definitely the weaker it gets. But currently, we have that really nice trend line support, as I've just shown you there. That was coming from the 28th of February, extending this on really from the 5th, 6th of March. And you can just see absolute what can we say? Absolutely perfectly, really. <laughs> we had the uh, third, definite third touch of the trend line. This really does make it a valid trend line, makes it very, um, you know, clearly just important. You had the bounce off of it here, you had the bounce off of it here, and, and you, you obviously rise in price. What did you also have as confluence? Obviously, we're coming into your CC support there as well, in validation below the low. You have a pretty good long position. Um, obviously, you can view this as a bit of a range, I suppose, right now, even. So, yeah, this is potentially a bit of a range. And I really do think that if we do come up here and we get the rejection, I think everybody's going to be talking about head and shoulders. I, I can already foresee that. Um, but anyway, 
yeah, this is the thing. Thousands of different patterns, thousands of different potentials. I think you only want to focus on the highest probabilities. Who cares about all these random patterns? I, I can personally say I would not be, even if it forms like I'm not going to be training for the head and shoulders. I'll tell you that for nothing. But anyway, I'm sure some people will. Um, but anyway, that's that's our important resistance. And that's our currently important support for the trend line. Okay. And then this is where this is where it starts to come into the sort of plans. And this is what I mean by having the highest probability trades. So I want to remind you all, like what, what's actually happened here over over the past few weeks. We obviously put in a low at 43, basically $43,000. We put in a high at $62,000. We obviously have had many, many trades in between all this. All right? Lots of trades in between all this. There's been many, many <laughs> more sculpts than I can dare to remember. Uh, you know, we're talking about hundreds and hundreds of trades. But in terms of your swing trades, in terms of what we can class as high probability trades, you obviously put in a significant low down here. You've put in a significant high up here. What can we say? Um, you know, this is coming a bit away from technical analysis. If you're purely, purely here for just the technicals, then that that's it. By the way, I'm finished for the technicals. I just want to now talk a bit, a bit about game theory, uh, sort of like the way that you approach the trade, the psychology, and like why you're only taking the best trades. But for the pure levels and technicals, I've given you those, those two next levels that, yeah, I'm going to be putting my money on. So um, anyway, for this, I want to just briefly talk about this. And this is when you come down to this lower, $43,000. I just want to remind you why psychology and reading the market is, is just as important, if not more important, than the technicals themselves. Um, because there was something very interesting that was happening while we were at $42,000, $43,000. Again, I know, I know, you know, two weeks in cryptocurrency seems like, seems like two years for a lot of people. But just two weeks ago, while we were down at those lows, you have to remember, we were rejecting off of our weekly, and we were heading down very quickly to the downside. And you may or may not remember, but on back on the 28th here, well, we were at $42,000, $43,000. Uh, there were a lot, let's just say a lot of traders looking for $40,000, $38,000. You know, it was one of those levels that I'm going to say 90% of the world are aware of. They're all looking at it. And what generally is going to be happening, if everybody's looking at the same level, if everybody's looking at the same pattern, in my experience, that is not going to end well. Okay, so I will cast your mind back to this. And this was a long position that I entered on the 28th. Okay, and this was um, a long position that I also covered in my Champions live stream on the 28th. And really simply, I am... Um, so this is going above technicals. This is, this is going into reading the market and actually what's happening in the market. So it's like a game of chess. I always say this is this is like your 5D chess where you're not only trading the charts, you're not only trading the technicals, but you have to you have to trade your opponent almost. You know, you have to read your opponents. You have to you know, you have to beat your opponents. Trading is a is a zero sum game. It's a zero sum game for me for, for me to make money. Other people are losing money. And so what was happening down here? Well obviously we had a lot of people shorting we had a lot of people expecting thirty eight forty thousand dollars so my opinion was that we're either will smash straight through the level or the level will never be reached eg if it's not reached everybody waiting for the level that's sold is forced to buy back higher okay and this was my game plan okay um as i'm gonna say this guy <laughs> i guess this was this really well, it was a good entry and it really was um and as as Imi says here another perfectly time long and i was able to time that long position I was able to time this, which was the post were all around, you know, 7.30 on the 28th. You can go back and check it all. Um, but yeah, this is this is what I had running. And as people were saying, this is the, 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 the screenshot of the technical analysis that I'd done on the 28th. And also on that 28th live stream, the live stream that I'd done for the champions on the 28th of February, Sunday, I was talking about the importance of the 13th of March. So two weeks ahead, I was talking about that pivot. Obviously, we managed to, well, I, I did anyway, <laughs> uh, long $43,000. You know, naturally, that was basically the, the exact low of the move. But what happened here? Well, we obviously make our way up. We make our way up. We make our way up. I did not, by the way, hold this 43000 all the way to sixty-two. I took, I, I closed out of this one prior to this. I think it was, I closed it out of the daily, which I, if I remember offhand was $51,613. Where I closed that daily, by where I closed that long position, by the way, because uh, obviously we we had downturns in and around here. 
uh, here specifically. Here, we obviously hit our daily, if you can remember. We had our pretty big move to the downside. But anyway, move, moving on. What happened then at the, you know, the reverse? Well, you can start to see, if you start to think about levels of importance, levels of importance, again, I've done my technical analysis. I know the levels where I want to trade. But then it's starting to become above, just above the levels. It's also remembering the pivots of date and time. And this is obviously the post I was referring to a little bit yesterday. Uh, but again, from, from the 28th, okay, so on that live stream where I was longing, longing to learn. Um, I also was talking about the 28th of, tw the, the, the um, sorry, the 13th of March being a very pivotal moment. And as you can see here, I reply on the 13th, by the way, at 11 a.m., coming on 12 a.m., where I was talking about, at 11 a.m., um, the importance of this date. Okay, you can see here the reply 11.58. We put in our high about seven hours later. So seven hours into the night. Um, but I was saying here, yes, that Elliott wave count is very important for me. We never broke the MPOC or the trend line. So we are still in wave three. The top should be put in on the Fibonacci time band, the 13th to the 14th. Well, seven hours later, we moved up to $62,000. Now, why am I talking you through this? Well, I'm talking you through this because you can start to see the importance for me of time. And this is what I like to say. Um, not many people are aware of this. Okay, some people, yeah, maybe they were aware of the CME gap. Maybe they were aware of the CME, uh, you know, they were looking to sell. But in my opinion, yeah, it's good to be aware of this. But if you can start to be aware of the exact time pivot, again, two weeks in advance, 28th of February, I was talking about a high to be put in on the 13th. Um, you know, this time band 13th, 14th. So I knew when, when you start to know when that high is going to be put in, when you're going to create that pivot, can you, you can start to see how you start to gain more confidence in your trading setups. Okay, yes, we had a nice confluence of resistances up here. But when you start to combine that, those confluences with also, you know, data off the, the date that's going to be put in, you can see how your confidence is going to increase, isn't it? Now, I would hope so anyway. <laughs> you know, you would hope, you would hope that. Um, so this is how I was able to really time this, you know, I'm going to say pretty nice entry. As you can see here, <laughs> as I was saying on the 14th, if this was the all-time high, my ego would explode to a whole new level. Obviously, I was getting my top short was literally uh, $61 thousand dollars nine hundred and ninety nine dollars and fifty cents so within literally 50 cent above the high but not just myself by the way some of the as i've shown you like some of the other members were also taking those shorts two dollars from the high uh, you know ten dollars from the high pretty amazing stuff now trading the exact high to the exact dollar um and there you go like it was what's this guy say first ever money shots thank you for the knowledge you're absolutely welcome this guy absolutely loving it today as well but hey this is what we do um so you can see here Managed to long a few weeks back on the 28th, the absolute low of the move, $43,000. We put in our low, $43,000. Fast forward two weeks to the 13th, the day I was looking at, hey, I've managed to short the absolute all-time high uh, on Bitcoin. And uh, hey, my ego can explode to a whole new level because <laughs> hey, we, we put in a significant high here. We have right now over nearly 15% drop to the downside. Um uh, I can I can safely say I think that this, this you're not going to see a better entry in the world period. Like this is the number one best entry anybody's going to have. Anybody's going to see. So I think I I deserve to brag a little bit in this. Uh, but I just want to for the, for offering the value of watching this video. I just need to remind you that how I'm coming to these conclusions, how I am entering these trades, exiting these trades, you know. How am I entering it originally? Well, it's because of I'm aware of the time pivots. Obviously, this was heavily based off of Elliott waves, but nevertheless, I'm aware of you know the Elliott wave count of why it was likely we were going to push up because we never broke the trend line. Uh, I was aware of the Fibonacci time pivots that we were going to be putting in on the weekend. Uh, I'm aware of the confluences. Obviously, I was looking up at those highs at 62k. Our confluences that we had that was taken off of really, really simply just monitoring the order book. Um, you know, and it's also a big psychological level. You're obviously coming up into your Fibonacci extensions. You know, naturally, it's a pretty good short position. And I, another thing is, even if we pushed up another seven hundred dollars, I would have continued to ladder in it. Why? Because I had absolute full confidence in my analysis that the high would be put in on the thirteenth or the fourteenth. So I had, if we had off pushed up from here, I would have continued to short it. Um, 
And again, this is really something that I preach that not everybody is... I, I literally do not think people should have followed me on that short. Like, I was not telling many people that this is going to be a really good short position because I have to admit there there's obviously a high, high, high risk of shorting at all time high. And it's not something I would ever tell anybody to follow me on. But for myself, because I'm trading with my own money, my own, you know, my own confidence and, you know, I'm okay with the risk, but it's not really a trade that I would um, say, oh yeah, this is a really good short all time highs. You know, naturally I'm going to tell people don't short the all time highs because it's really risky. You have to have that certain degree of very high skill to even attempt it. But hey, somebody has to, somebody has to attempt it. Somebody has to short the highs and hey, what can I say? That that was that was uh, that was me. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, so that really wraps this is to wrap it up, wrap it up now. So how do I get to these plans? It's by doing a lot of technical analysis. You have to remember, I'm spending I'm spending 16 hours a day right now on the computer, heavily doing a lot of technical analysis, helping a lot in the community, doing a lot of questions, doing a lot of content that people aren't aware of. But in the in the background every day, making so much content. But it's long days right now. But I'm loving it, obviously. Um, but yeah, I, I, I take these trades from my technical analysis. I get these plans but from the technicals, but also reading the market. You know, I'm very good at reading what everybody else is thinking. You know, if everybody's looking at a uh, cup and handle pattern, you know, I'm going to be looking to short that, <laughs> period. You know, so if everybody's looking at the same pattern, I'm going to be looking to do the opposite. I'm very good at reading this, not, you know, just, you know, just, just, just a good skill that people need to try and, you know, I suppose almost copy it as I'm doing, you know, I feel I'm very successful in what I do. So I can pass on what I do and people can try and copy this, of course. Um, and I suppose that's what people are doing right now. <laughs> Not going to lie, but I can see the people that are signing up to our courses and, uh, hey, it's pretty surprising. Well, I guess it's not really surprising, but some very big, let's just say very big, um, uh, Let's just say people that you also might be following are signing up to our courses. So it's very likely in the near future that my theories are are being talked about in other people's YouTube channels. And hey, I suppose that that can. Uh, yeah. Anyway, that, 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 I, I do think that's pretty funny, but I guess people want to learn the right way and I can't hate them for that. But I do think it <laughs> I do think it's pretty funny. But anyway, uh, we basically have our important level the next weekly we had that trend line support we had that heavy selling coming into the lows we had that heavy selling uh obviously sorry the heavy buying coming in at sixty two thousand dollars and um yeah sorry this video has, has gone on to it a bit too long but for, for a summary for a summary to wrap it up we had weekly resistance trend line support the importance of reading market you know, the importance of, of, of re literally reading what, what other people are going to be trying to trade. And generally, in my opinion, in my experience, I have a very high win rate of, of recognizing what everybody's talking about and recognizing that is very unlikely to happen. Um, yeah, let's just let's just say that, um, you know. And I think that that's about everything that I really wanted to cover here. Um, yeah. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen, I can have the, uh, <laughs> I can have the very high ego because, hey, I recognize there will be backlash when I, when I fail, but while I'm still killing the charts, crushing these charts, hey, I can, I can maintain this ego. Uh, you're here for the best technical analysis and hey, what can I say? You're getting it right now. Uh, so there you go. Hope you've enjoyed this video. I've given you my game plan for today and the next levels I'm waiting for. So thank you ever so much. Hope you've enjoyed and uh, let's wait for the weekly. Cheers, everybody. Thank you for so much and goodbye. Cheers.